Well, um, we are relieved that eventually uh, the parties have managed to find one another. And uh, I'm sure all South Africans will be very happy to welcome this new development. Mm. AMCU is claiming victory. Um, analysts not so sure, saying maybe the workers have, have just lost too much here in wages, in, in health, in things like that. Um, do you think this is a victory for, for the workers that have battled on for five months? Well, it's not for government to pronounce on the victory or loss of one or, or either of the parties. Our work is to ensure that uh, they negotiate with one another in good faith and that they reach agreement and that has been reached. Mm. And to that end, we are grateful. Minister, looking back, um, initially government slowed to become uh, very embroiled in the negotiations. There, there was involvement from, from the start, though. Then you got involved directly with a, a team of technical experts. Uh, do, do you feel that government handled uh, these negotiations in the correct way, specifically your own intervention? Well, um, we gave it uh, two weeks uh, of hard work and uh, laid the facts bare before the parties. My team was very efficient. I'm very grateful to them for the job they've done to show the parties the options that were available to them. And when I thought someone was stringing us along, I decided we should uh, uh, leave them to sort themselves out on the basis of what was before them. And indeed, they've done so within two weeks of that event. Mm. You have raised concern, and, and a lot of people have raised concern, that this dragged on uh, for five months, that, that everybody suffered, that the economy went into a contraction. You've hinted that if you uh, had the opportunity to, to break um, a, a strike with forced arbitration, you would. Is this something that government's looking at quite seriously at the moment? In the normal order of things, we are not supposed to be involved in the uh, negotiations between the parties. But this strike proved to me, looked to me to be extraordinary uh, in terms of the length that it took. And that uh, the country was beginning to be paralyzed in the face of non-agreements. And that's when I decided to, after my swearing in, to take the bull by the horns on the spot. What, what could the future hold in terms of any changes to, to legislation, in terms of, of the way that these um, labor disputes are, are dealt with? I, I think I should repeat what I've said previously, that uh, in the event of an abnormal strike such as this one, um, it might be important for the state not to be rendered important. That we do need to have an instrument, legal instrument, at our disposal to be able to, to settle this sort of a dispute. And uh, I found that the Minister of Labor has also been looking at this matter very actively. And uh, I'm hoping that at some point she, she will be leading this process because that is not my call. I can only um, suggest uh, it belongs rightfully to the Department of Labor, who will then have to follow the due processes, including going through the network and others, so that all the stakeholders eventually buy into mm. the solution. It may be this one, it may be some other solution, but definitely we need some capability available to a neutral party. Mm. It could be the court, it could be whatever, but someone has to be able to intervene when the parties are engaged in a, a life self-destruction, mutual self-destruction, in a life and death struggle. All right, we appreciate your time this evening. Thank you very much, um, Mineral Resources Minister Gwako Ramatlodi. Well, let's take